Hello everyone, it's Carrie from sunshineinmypocket.com. Today I'm back with another fun project using some of my favorite stamps and stencils from Missing Stamps. This one here is called Hug in a Mug and it's two layers. As you can see, I love the stencil. I didn't even clean it off from last time I used it because it just made me so happy seeing all the colors. But I will clean it off before we use it today because we're gonna do some spot foiling which is really, really fun to do. And I'm gonna show you how easy it is and how fun it is to add different sentiments and different images. To make things easy on myself today, I'm just going to tape it to the back of my paper and then I'll ink on some ink. Now I am gonna use one of my new ink colors. I haven't even used it yet. This is Distress Ink in the color Saltwater Taffy. It's a really fun color. It's kind of a corally pink, but if you go even a little bit darker with it, it looks great with reds as well. So I thought this would be a nice versatile color to use for these cards today. Now these are going to be a little bit Valentine colored. I'm using pinks and reds, and this one I'm going to do a little bit lighter. And for the next one, I'll ink it on just a little bit darker, and you'll see the difference that it makes when you use it with different colors. For my second panel, I'm going to use one of these ins and outs stencils. This one is the Bohemian stencil, and look at this. It comes with an outline layer, it comes with this inside layer, and a mask layer, which makes it really great for different techniques. So for this one, I'm going to use some adhesive here that is temporary, and I'm going to put down that mask layer, and then I will use this stencil to stencil on around it. This is going to make it so that there is a nice white center for our card for this one. And this is the one I'm going to ink on a little bit darker. So I have a paper here that I'm just wiping or dabbing my brush off on so I don't get really harsh lines. But see how, dark, how much darker I'm doing this one? So it does take on some red characteristics. It's going to look great with some red foil. All right, so here's the second layer. For the second layer, we're going to use something that I love to use to add foil, and that is this gel. This is the Decofoil Transfer Gel Duo, and I'm going to be using this to add on that second layer, and then we're gonna allow it to dry before adding the foil. I decided to place a piece of paper underneath so that I didn't get any of this gel on my work surface. It makes it so much easier to clean up. And you can see I'm just using this palette knife to push that through the small details of this second layer. It's really easy to do. And you'll see that when I pull that off, it is white in color, but when it dries, it dries clear. So that's how you'll know that it's ready for foiling once it's clear. So I'm just using my finger to wipe around those edges and clean off any that might have gone over the edge. And look at that, we've got a nice clear white space in the center. Now before I use this on my second panel, I'm gonna go ahead and wash this off and dry it completely because I may have gotten some through onto the back of the stencil and that just leaves for some smudging and not really great looking foil. So I usually do wash in between. And there we go. So now our panels are completely dry with the magic of editing. And I've got a couple of foils here, the radiant red and this beautiful sparkling pink. These are Gina K foils. And I love them because they have different designs also in the foil. So they're so pretty. I've got my mini mink warming up right here and I'll run this red one through. I'm using the radiant red on the darker inked one but it seemed like the mink needed a little bit longer to warm up. So while that is warming up, I am going to stamp on some of my favorite images. I've already chosen a few from the Alice collection and also a large mushroom that she's gonna be sitting on top of. So I've mapped this out and I'm going to stamp on Alice and some teacups here. Those are gonna be the frontmost images and so I wanna stamp them first before I stamp the mushroom. Now I'm also going to stamp a mask for these images and I'll cut them out, fussy cutting them around just the bottom portions because that's really all you need. 
because I'm just masking them off on the bottom portion to be able to stamp that mushroom on. And then it will look like the mushroom is behind them. So it'll look natural, like they're sitting really on top of that mushroom. So here we go, just lining this up right here after those masks have been placed on. And now I'll stamp that down and remove the masks and we'll have a really fun image for one of our backgrounds. So there is that. I'm just gonna reveal, to remove that mask to reveal our, our image here. And this is really fun, Alice sitting on top <laughs> with some teacups. I'm also gonna use some of those other images up on the right hand corner there to finish out our scene. So I'll color this up in just a minute. But first let's go ahead and put the pink one through the mink, run that through, and I like to loosen it up a little with my bone folder. And that makes sure, it just makes me happy to see that the, the, the foil loosens up and gives us a really great result. Here's where I'm gonna start coloring. Now I'm not leaving all the coloring in this video because I did take a couple of days to color this. I ran out of time so I just used some of the time I had here and there and it was really nice relaxing coloring. I love coloring these images as you probably know but I figure it's a new year so it's okay to use Alice again and, and introduce her to a new card this year, a little Valentine card. Well, it's Valentine inspired, but it's not really a Valentine theme. So I'll just use some greens and blend those through. And you'll see that I also bring in a lighter green. So these are a couple of darker greens. We have G99 and G46, I believe. And now I'm adding the G43 to blend those through. I'm gonna use pretty much the same green color combination for all the foliage here on this image. And then I'll color up in different colors, the mushroom and Alice. This time I'm using some pinks for her dress and some blues for the mushroom. So it's kind of a fun little color scheme. It's gonna look great with our backgrounds. So for this one now, I am going to add that frame to the red foiled background. And I'm just inking this on using a small blending brush and some red ink. You can see right here what that looks like. And then to finish this off, I'm also going to outline the inside of this design using a gray Copic marker. And I like to clean off my stencil while it's still attached. That way I don't smear it over the image. It's easier to clean that way as well. So I'm gonna use this little cutie right here, this gnome, as our image. And see, here's where I am going around the inside with a gray Copic marker. That gives it a little more feeling of depth as well. And it's just gonna clean up the inside there. This is basically going to be a one layer card, except for the sentiment. I ended up popping that sentiment up and I'm using the one that says, I like big mugs and I cannot lie. <laughs> I thought that was so funny. I'm gonna use some red paper that I've cut out the center. You can see I've already used this to, to cut out a die cut, but it still works great as a frame mat for this. No one's ever gonna know except for you and me. And I'm just gonna finish that card off by adding that to a top folding card base. Now to finish off the pink one, I'm going to use some Distress Oxide ink in Kitsch Flamingo and just ink around all the edges of this card. It's gonna help it all blend together really well. And then I'll pop up that image of Alice. Look how big and nice that image is. Since we did the masking and I made it all one image, it really works well for this. And then I've also white heat embossed the sentiment. It's always tea time for this. And I use some pink cardstock to do that. Now I'm popping up these frontmost images that I also fussy cut. And I'm gonna put those along this image, the cupcake, the little mouse in the teapot, and then this teapot and teacups at the bottom. So those are all going to be popped up along with the sentiment, giving it some more dimension and interest. There we go. 
So to finish this off, I'm gonna use some liquid pearls on that mushroom. I'm using the white color because I thought it looked really great with those blues. And look at that. Here's our card with Alice. Look at how that foil shines in the background. It's a really fun look and a really fun card. And there's our gnome card with the red. So reds and pinks, but really not necessarily Valentine theme. I hope you still enjoyed these cards though. I really enjoyed making them with you today. And I hope you'll try some spot foiling techniques of your own using some of your favorite stencils. Miss Ink has a lot of stencils that this foiling technique would work really well with. I'll be back soon with more inspiration. Until then, happy crafting. Bye-bye.